Harper. Butler University is getting more than $20 million, but they're not spending it all on the school. WRTV's Amber Grigley shows us what neighborhood projects the money will support and how the community is embracing the changes. My mom and my grandmother used to go to Martin Luther King Center right across the street. And I remember when there used to be a court up there and a court right here. The Tarkington Park community. We've been here now for 10 years. We used to live in Carmel and we were we always found ourselves coming towards this side. Has a unique way of tugging at the hearts of so many. This is a really booming area for the community and I mean they're doing a lot of modernizing to the homes and apartment areas here so this actually is growing. We have a lot more to offer now to this community. So you can imagine the excitement buzzing when Butler University received $22.5 million in grant funding to continue work in the community. If there's going to be more improvement, oh my God, kudos, kudos to whoever is doing it. I like Lily and any other institution that wants to help the community because we need it. The grant is from Lilly Endowment, all part of its vision to strengthen the quality of life in Indiana communities. We've been fortunate in recent years to have a number of, of large grants from Lilly Endowment, but this is our largest in recent years. The Butler Gateway Project includes the MLK Center expansion, Tarkington Park Phase 2 expansion, and support Midtown Indy along with other campus projects, including the restoration of Holcomb Gardens and construction of a new safety and transit hub. We did um, really a year's worth of engagement with the community, uh, really understanding what the needs of the community are and how Butler's interests can intersect with the community. So this is a truly a partnership. It's always good to see more money, more people, more of the environment, more diversity is very important. I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. One of the highlights noted in the expansion of Tarkington Park Phase 2 was a pickleball court, something neighbors tell us they are very excited about. Butler says they plan to start some of the projects as early as this fall.